Hello everybody, in this brief GIMP tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can take a finished work inside of GIMP and export it as an actual image type, which could include PNG files, JPEG, GIF, or most other image types that you're used to seeing online. So when you go up to the file menu, you'd think that normally you would just save or save as and that would give you a ability to export it as an image, but that's actually not true, because when you save it, uh, using save or save as, it's saving a .xcf file. And the .xcf is basically just what GIMP uses to edit this image, save it for further use, and stores all the layer information. So what you actually have to do is go to file and export, export as, or if you've already exported it once, it'll say export to the last na uh, known location with the same image type. Uh, basically exporting again. So down here look for export or export as. Uh, we'll do export as right here. Uh, targeting the image to be saved on the desktop. Uh, it may default to an image type right here but if you want to save it to a specific type instead of just PNG then you can go down here where it says all export images. Click and choose the image type of your choice. So for instance uh, you could be looking for dot jpeg right here that's a very common image type uh, dot gif uh, gif and that's another image type uh, png is also standard and you can see that there's also a lot of other uh, export types here but uh, you should be able to find pretty much all of the standard image types here uh, tiff B, uh, bmps uh, that pretty much covers all the common ones so yeah that's what you find it so once you uh, have the location set and the name with the right image format, just save it to the location. Uh, go ahead with the settings here. Usually you can just leave them as defaults. And then on the location, it's going to be available, exported properly as a real image and not as a .xcf file. So you can go ahead, open it off uh, just to confirm that the image is in fact exported. And from there, do what you want with it. So that's all for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching, and until my next video, I'll see you then.